There's a brand new flavor of keto chow, peanut butter. That Joe made. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews and we do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on a couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Now I've heard it said that where there's a will, there's a way, but mm -hmm. now we've found out that where there's a Joe, there's a peanut butter keto chow. So how many of you remember years ago, I remember this when I was a kid, there was a commercial for the Reese's where somebody's walking down and they bump into each other and the chocolate goes into the peanut butter, which hence the creation of Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Mmm, chocolate. Mmm, mm, peanut butter. Hey, oh, peanut hey, you got your chocolate on my peanut you got butter. You peanut butter on my chocolate. Yeah, that's how it happened. I love peanut butter. Well, there is a chocolate peanut butter keto chow, sir. And that is probably my favorite flavor keto chow especially when it comes to making ice cream. Yeah. But I love peanut, just plain peanut butter. Love peanut butter. Well, we don't have that. And you can't really eat this because like, yeah, like one spoon is 180 calories and like, yeah, one spoon's not satisfying me. So I love peanut butter and Keto Chow doesn't have a peanut butter. Yeah. So I've come up with a way to make peanut butter and this stuff is so good. You're just where you're drinking a peanut butter shake and there's no actual like regular peanut butter in it. It's yeah. really good. It's so good. We actually drank it for 15 days straight during our 31 day pedo chow fast. It's actually pretty amazing. Okay, so you need two things for this. And like I said, one of them is not, not peanut, peanut butter. butter. First thing you need is some keto chow. This is what we store them in. These are the Better Homes and Gardens containers. We get them at Walmart. This is the big one, which honestly, you really need this size. This size will hold a bag plus like two or three scoops. This holds a bag and a half. So you can use two flavors. You can use vanilla, mm -hmm. okay? Or it also works well with cookies and cream. This kind of gives it almost like a little bit of a malted flavor. Yes. Okay, but they both work. And you can tell how long and how much keto chow we buy. These are like the old bags. Aww. So like the, the old keto chow. I actually like this logo. Still work. Okay, so you need that. And then what you really need is peanut flour. Yes. Now, if you don't have peanut flour, you can use PB Fit. We don't like PB Fit because it's got some sugar in it. Almost every one of them have sugar. Even if you don't see it in the label, it's there. But this doesn't. There's two different kinds of peanut flour that you can buy. There's like a 12% fat one and there's a 28% fat one. You want the 28% fat one. I'm gonna leave a link for it down below. And the 28% fat one has a lot more peanut taste. You can actually take this and mix it with water and create your own peanut butter. Which is nice. It is really good and it's just peanut flour. There's also other recipes. I think even Keto Connect has a couple of recipes that use peanut flour. So it won't go to waste, but you're gonna use it all for your keto chow, I promise. Yeah. So you ready to get into this? Yes, please. Okay, so I've actually, now, you can make this in a blender bottle, if, or if you're using butter, you do have to use a blender, but we pretty much make all of our keto chow in our Vitamix because we like to blend it smooth. And uh, we're going to start off with heavy cream. I'm doing with three ounces of heavy cream. You're gonna put whatever fat you want in there. So yeah. three ounces, four ounces, five ounces. You're gonna use butter, if you're gonna use heavy cream. Now, I don't like that. No. I feel like I'm wasting don't some. Don't waste it. So I have my water here. Somebody told me you can actually add the water first and then it won't stick. I didn't Swish think about it that. around. So, well, I probably won't get it all because I don't want to make a mess. Are you but gonna put the lid on this blender before I you do have it? my blender bottle, maybe. Okay, to that, it's a scoop of, peanut ch of keto chow. So again, we're gonna use the vanilla. So. 
We're gonna put that in. Now this is, yeah, where I normally turn it all the way down. Put my hand over just in case. That'll fix it. And we're gonna let it run, right? Then you're gonna add 10 to 15 grams of peanut flour. Now, if you're like me and you don't want to actually weigh it out, that's one to one and a half packed tablespoons. Okay. So take your tablespoon measure, if you pack it, like take the peanut flour, you pack it in there, that's gonna be 10 grams, you know, just about. Maybe yeah. maybe it come out to 11, like 9.8, but it's about 10 grams. Or you could measure it. Or you could measure it, but I'm lazy. So I've got 10 grams here, I'm just gonna add that in. I'm gonna put my cover on. And then we're gonna pour it. Now, like all keto chow, this does taste better when you've let it sit. Can you smell that? It smells like peanut butter up in this piece. I probably have a little bit of extra water in there. Plus, when you put it in the blender, it kind of makes it a little bit frothier. We'll save that to rinse out with coffee. Yes, but we're done. Yeah. The We're work done. is done. Now, now you got to try it. You I'm, I'm going to give you the. I'm going to give you the first taste. I actually got some on my hand. It's peanut mm. butter. It was like. You ever have a peanut butter ice cream? Yes. That's what it's like. We have so used this delicious. for peanut butter ice cream. We make our custard with it. We've been making ice cream with it. And again, super simple. Highly recommend you use. The peanut flour, again, you can use PB Fit. I feel like it tastes a little bit differently. We tried it once, but I don't like the extra sugar in there. I do want to let you know though, when you use 10 grams of the 28% fat peanut flour, you are adding about two carbs, two total carbs to your keto chow. I think it comes out to be like 1.3 net carbs. Um, and I'm even okay with deducting that one and you are adding about 37 more calories to it. That's why if you also look at chocolate, peanut butter, keto chow, it has higher calories because you're adding some extra fat. You're adding peanut butter but as a fat. But it is delicious and it makes an incredible ice cream because of that added fat. Mm-hmm. Now, if we could just convince Chris and Miriam to make grape peanut butter and jelly using this no. recipe, we'd be all set. No. <laughs> Let us know down in the comment section if you try this. Also, let us know what other flavor keto chows keto chow needs to come out with. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of our other product review videos that I'm gonna put right down here. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over there. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon in that way every single time Joe develops something, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.